All right, good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. It is a chilly start to the weekend, and we're going to be seeing some pretty dry conditions into the rest of the Mid-South as we go throughout the course of the next couple of days. We do not have too much of anything to worry about in the way of rainfall, to say the least, or snow or severe weather or anything like that. Things are going to be very quiet over the course of the next couple of days as we see, again, the potential for some very dry weather to set in. And we may see again the possibility, if everything goes correctly, of maybe some more wildfire dangers coming our way. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. In the meantime, we're going to be seeing some dry conditions out there. We don't have much to worry about where it comes to anything, again, involving rainfall anytime soon. If you have any questions about the forecast, drop them into the comments section. We are live on Facebook just past about 11 o'clock on Friday morning. Let's see your location, and let's also see uh, any weather reports that you have out there. Mary Lowe. Welcome to the show and good morning to Ken. Please hope I'm saying that correctly. If I'm slaughtering your name, I apologize in advance. You think with a name like Onik, I would know better, but uh, give me an opportunity to know more about uh, how to pronounce your name in case I am mispronouncing it. We are live again with more information. We'll have a detailed update on your forecast coming up on News Channel 3 at noon, so stay tuned for more on that. Rest of the day today, uh, if you have any questions about the forecast and can't stick around for the whole thing, scrolling by in the blue bar at the bottom of your screen, that's your forecast for the Mid-South, and let's see if I can point the right direction. Right down here in the lower uh, left-hand corner of your screen, we've got, again, our radar display up so you can see what's going on, which at this time doesn't really amount to much. Also taking a look, again, let me see, right back here, time clock, and, of course, my email address if there's anything you'd like to send along to me for a suggestion. If there's something on these netcasts that you would like to see, please let me know about it because if – we can get you to come back on here and let us yeah, keep watching. We'd love to know more about what you would like to see on here. We'll feature some of your pictures on here, but if there's something specific, climate data, weather around the world, more satellite pictures, whatever it is, we'll consider it. So just let me know more about that. Let's take a look and see who that's. Uh, Sharon Smith from Helena, snowing like crazy. Okay, I'm assuming that's either Helena, Montana, probably not Helena, Arkansas, DuCoin, Duquesne, Illinois, Tammy Harris. Uh, welcome to the show. Brian Clements, good morning to you. Sean Walker, Morris Walker. It's cold. Yes, indeed. Uh, snow in the forecast. Nikki Morgan. Now, around here, not anytime soon, I'm afraid, at this point in time. Mary Loca from Lone Star, Texas. Welcome to the show. Ripley, Mississippi. Wesley Stultz. Snow request. We'll do what we can on that. Missy Wilson, likewise. We'll see what we can do on their GM. Back to you, Shirley Office. Welcome to the show. Sandra Owens Fry from Oxford, Mississippi. And any snow in Memphis, Cassie Smith. We'll talk more about all that coming up in just a little bit. Current forecast in the Mid-South. Again, not seeing a lot of any major concern with any snowfall here. Dry today, and this is going to be the warmest temperatures that we have across the Mid-South throughout the course of the rest of the day. So all of you who are asking for snow in the comments section, we're not going to be picking up too much of anything, to say the least, at this point in time. Uh, Slidell, Louisiana, hope I'm saying that right. Leatris Harris Day, welcome to the show. Helena, Alabama. Yes, okay, that makes sense. Getting some snowfall down that direction. Thank you, Sharon Smith, for that. Houston, Texas. Stefan Feiner, Flenner. My bifocals are really causing problems right now. Rick Allen from Bartlett, Tennessee. Thanks for joining us on the show this morning. Rest of the forecast we'll get to in just a little bit. Yes, technically, it's nothing to do with weather, but we do like to feature a little bit more information about the New Madrid Fault to make certain everybody's up to date on what's going on with earthquakes. Did have one earlier this week around Tuesday around the area north of Blytheville. More information about whether or not you felt that quake, go to, to earthquakes.usgs.gov or our own University of Memphis Center for Earthquake Research and Information at memphis.edu slash CERI. And if you felt that, you can participate in citizen science by filling out a Did You Feel It report. Great way to help the seismologists understand more about how the energy gets transmitted from around the New Madrid fault line. Plus, it's a really cool science thing to get involved in with seismic studies and whatnot. Old Faithful from Yellowstone National Park, some blue skies back around Montana and northwestern parts of Wyoming this morning, and also a lot of fresh snow out in the parts of the Intermountain West. Back to the east around the National Mall, lots of clouds starting to get a little thicker as we start to see more problems with travel as that moisture from the storm system south of us heads toward the D.C. area, so you could see some slowdowns around Reagan International a little bit later on today and some of the other airports around the East Coast. Round about Oxford, lots of cloudy skies and 
in early this morning, reports of a couple flurries coming in, but nothing immediate. And today being the last day of finals at Ole Miss, good luck to everybody there. And stay safe on your travels if you're leaving the Oxford campus today or tonight. And especially if you're heading southward, you're going to be running into some dicey travel. A little bit more blue skies in Germantown this morning. Poplar Pike in Germantown around the railroad tracks, Germantown Parkway, and back toward the towers of East Memphis. Seeing again some good visibility out there, no problems at all seen. The winds are a little lighter at this time, so you don't have much of a wind chill, but it still is back in the mid to upper 30s, so a little bit on the chilly side there. From West Memphis, Arkansas, I-40, I-55 travel at the late Friday morning hours moving along downtown Memphis on the horizon. A little bit on the hazy side, but not bad, and about a degree cooler than Germantown back to about the mid 30s. Winds are a little breezier, so the wind chills are a little lower at this time, and we'll continue to see some of that sticking around for a while. Well, Memphis International Airport, planes, trains, and automobiles, well, at least the last two anyway, moving on through there. And thanks to the engineering staff at News Channel 3 for getting these cameras back up and going once again. For right now, we're not seeing too much of a problem. Good visibility from I-240 and Airways looking back toward the airport property this morning. A couple planes coming in for a landing. Partly to mostly cloudy right now. Variable winds about 7 miles an hour. Green icon showing delays of 15 minutes or less. So good news from the FAA on that. But we are seeing a lot more travel problems late this morning. Teterboro and around Newark getting some delays of 15 minutes plus and those are continuing to increase according to these red icons here. Delays starting to continue around Atlanta as rain and snow continue just back to the west of that area so we'll see some slowdowns going on there plus a lot of this is probably human travel. Now we're also getting information uh, from the FAA into around the area around Los Angeles. There could be some slowdowns here later on and including around San Diego with those big wildfires. A lot of them are not even contained at this point in time. Very good conditions for those explosive wildfires to continue. So if you're traveling out west to around LAX or any place around there, you could see some slowdowns later on today, not to mention some choppy travel as you come in for a landing with some of those winds out there gusting to 70 to 80 miles per hour. So some very ugly conditions out there, not looking at any storms, just fire out across that particular area. More information, go to this website, again, fly.faa.gov, and you get more information about what's going on in and around the area, down to your basic airport for the rest of the day, any place in the continental United States. Currently not seeing any problems on Storm Tracker 3S radar. We did have a lot of activity going on into and around portions of northeast Mississippi early this morning, but as of right now, all those echoes are basically gone. There's really not much of anything left over. Still a lot of snow showers going on way on down to our south and east. So if you're planning on traveling anywhere south of Jackson, back over toward Birmingham, into Montgomery, south of Huntsville, around Atlanta, the white area is snow, green and blue, and orange and yellow is rainfall back to around the east of us. And a lot of that, as we told you earlier, is starting to make its way all the way back up to right around the D.C. area. The rain and the moisture is just outside the capital, and we're going to be seeing more of that moisture making its way up into the Carolinas, through the Appalachians, and into and around the east coast of the United States. But for us, the chance of flurries that we had for this morning is basically gone and over with for right now. Thanks to everybody for checking in on Facebook for this morning. We are live with your quick weather update at 11 o'clock this morning. And as of right now, not seeing again a lot of major concerns out there. Thanks to everybody who's checking in for snowfall. But for those of you who want the snow, this is as good as it gets for us. It was never much more than flurries for today and is now passing us back on over to the east of us. So there's really not much of any chance of it left. It is going to be cold today, though. So if you like that, version of winter weather. At least we've got that out there. Temperatures back in the mid-30s, a few upper 30s showing up in Memphis at U of M Earth Sciences. Live, real-time, on your side weather. And you can get this information on your computer by going to wrag.com slash weather and clicking on the weather bug icon for access to all this information. Let's run the numbers and show you what's going on throughout the rest of the day. The gray colors you see here, that's cloud cover according to the computer, and it's going to be leaving, heading over to the east of us, but it's going to be doing so grudgingly slowly. It's not going to be leaving anytime soon. Temperatures for highs in the upper 30s to lower 40s, and that's as warm as it gets. Now, by tonight, by sunset, we should be able to see a little bit more sunshine, so hopefully some good sunset shots 
looking out for tonight. Didn't see any sunrise this morning, thanks to all those clouds out across the Mid-South area. Now, as we go into the rest of the evening tonight, temperatures again will be on the chilly side. We'll be looking for numbers by early tomorrow morning around News Channel 3 daybreak. Join yours truly for that coming up bright and early tomorrow morning. And temperatures for tomorrow, again, a little bit milder, not by much, but some 40 degrees for today, and that's going to be about all. Temperatures for tomorrow back in the upper 40s. Could be some lows tonight in the mid-20s, and then getting into the upper 40s again on Sunday. So we do pick up at least a little bit more in the way of some more mild temperatures, but we're still going to be some 10 to 20 degrees below normal for this time of the year, so decently chilly this weekend. Now, going into next Monday, we see again the possibility of some warmer temperatures. This is about normal for this time of the year. New cold front arrives, drops our temperatures, but because the front's going to be surrounded on either side by dry air, it's going to have barely anything, even in the way of cloud cover out there, so it'll be cooler by Tuesday and Wednesday, but we're still not seeing anything in the way of moisture coming our way. When is the next best chance of moisture and what are we looking for out there? Not for quite some time to come. The blue boxes at the bottom of your screen, that's the percentage chance of any uh, precipitation coverage. And the next best chance for right now is way over here next Sunday evening. Temperatures will be quite mild, getting back to just above normal by the time we head into mid-December, but that's about as good as it gets for the chance of rain. Now, this could cause another problem. We could be looking at the potential of very dry air in the Mid-South over the next few days, so we could see some wildfire danger starting to increase ourselves. Not like what they have out west, but we did see an increase in wildfire danger the last couple of weeks from Arkansas Department of Forestry and into around Tennessee and Mississippi wasn't quite so much, but the when the foliage and the trees and the weeds especially start to dry out, wildfire becomes a big problem. When you don't have rain for a very long period of time, that's something that we really need to watch out for. So over the next few days, we could see some increased wildfire danger here. But once again, nothing like what they're looking at out west. But keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on that. Thanks to everybody for some great weather pictures out there from where the snow is falling. And again, if you've got pictures, we'll show you where to send those in just a little bit. Lisa Cromwell sent us a couple of pictures, one from one of her daughter's houses down around Madison. I'm assuming that's Madison, Mississippi, or Madison, Alabama. Not too sure about that. Great one from Snow in the Headlights this morning around Canton, Mississippi. Christopher Smith on his way back to Memphis. Coincidentally, he did arrive safely, so in case you were wondering, the story here has a happy ending, but again, on I-55 heading north at about 4 o'clock this morning, getting some pretty good snow in the headlights out there. If you've got weather pictures, whether it's snow on the roadway or beautiful sunsets or raindrops, anything like that, whatever you've got in the way of weather. We want to see it, but we can't show it like these last two pictures if you don't send them in. So send them to me on Twitter at Aonic underscore WRAG3 or also on Instagram, no underscore necessary, Aonic WRAG3. Also on my Facebook page, just got done with a live update there just a few minutes ago. And again, you can find me on all of, or is it these, social media networks right there. And also, again, oh, just about every place, still having trouble with Snapchat. I'll try to get that taken care of at some point in time. Catch my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations if you can't watch on TV or... Watch on the internet if you're driving around the Mid-South getting stuff taken care of. Tune us in for the weather experts forecast this weekend. We'll keep you updated there. And, of course, I'll have more coming up with Bob and Josh on AM 730 early on Monday morning, so stay tuned for more there. Tim Simpson will be live tonight at Wolf Chase Galleria for the Day of Ringing. Drop by for uh, opportunity to drop off your change to the Salvation Army. And if those red kettles out there, maybe Tim will even sing. Well, not too sure. Jim Jaggers will be here in the studio with your complete forecast coming up a little bit later on tonight. And of course, I'll be here throughout the course of the rest of the weekend with your complete forecast, dry though it may be. We may see again some changes out there. And if anything does happen, we will definitely let you know about that. Questions, concerns, again, any comments? If there's something on here you would like to see, please let us know about it. We can't change anything on here unless you tell us. And we do this because you want to see stuff like this. So if there's something on here you want to see, please let us know. Again, drop me a line right there at austin.onic at wra g.com my email address and of course you can find me on many different social media networks so feel free to let me know what it is on here that you would like to see and we'll be glad to see what we can do about featuring it on there and stay tuned to news channel three both tonight for the day of ringing and of course with me throughout the rest of the weekend live and direct from downtown memphis tennessee i'm meteorologist austin onik thanks for joining us for a quick weather update on facebook and stay tuned for more coming up in a little bit less than an hour on news channel three at noon